Peace and love. Zero, zero, zero on the clock. Sending you all positive energy, high vibes, success on your entrepreneurship, all love, all positivity. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you hit the like button, and you leave me any comments or any questions in my description below. Also, any requests, and I'll be glad to assist you. Today, I'm going to be speaking about the morality of zodiac signs and how they resonate with the seasons. And I'm going to start off by speaking about the coronal signs. Now, when we deal with the coronal signs, they are the beginning of the season. They kick things off. So we had the coronal signs as Aries, that kicks off spring. We have Cancer, that kicks off summer. We have Libra that kicks off fall, and we also have Capricorn that kicks off winter. Okay, when we think of the energy of the coronal signs, they are symbolic to the beginning. Also, the meaning of coronal is the central and also essential. Okay, so if you hold the energy of a coronal sign, you're going to be the type of individual that self-initiate. You're going to be a natural born leader. You're going to be self-motivated. Setting goals, making plans, being strong, having that strong leadership of great qualities, okay? And when we think of the beginning, it's just like the energy of angel number one. New beginning fresh starts, intuition, passion, ambition, drive, exploring different aspects of ourselves in the world, exploring careers, and just stepping out with that Leo energy of the wildest childhood imagination to explore all the mysteries of the world. Okay, two, two, two on the clock as I said that. You know, so it holds that energy of the new moon. Planting those seeds. Nourishing those seeds. Putting some intentions in those seeds. Paying attention to those seeds and watching them flourish. Okay, so if you hold this energy, you're going to always want to start things. You just have to be familiar to make sure you finish them because you're always going to be open up to do something new, to try a new career, to try a new activity, to be creative. You're going to have that fire and that flame within you, okay? Now, we always have the highs and the lows when dealing with astrology, the astronomical science of the universe, so don't get offended and think that if you have a low that is negative and there's something wrong with that we all have lows just as well as strengths and i always like to say we have to embrace the law the lows excuse me just as well as the strengths in order to tap into our true divinity in order to have that self-love that passion and that confidence and that balanced ego about ourselves okay always be familiar with that so you have the energy of being restless at time because you like to be moving you like to be on the go and you just like to have that energy of being active okay and you can be pessimistic overthinking you know in situations and kind of a little bit impulsive so you just have to make sure that you take some time out you make sure before you make your decisions and your choices that they are for your highest good and they are fulfilling for you okay have that aspiration and get a journal journaling is a superpower it's a great coping method 444 on the clock it's a great memory log also it helps us with clearing negativity 
okay and being focused and disciplined once we are focused and disciplined it puts us on top of things and we in perfect alignment and it keeps us in the present moment once we tap into that energy it's like we're present and we watching our thoughts and once we be able to watch our thoughts master them we're able to be able to be in that energy to create whatever we want to create because we're in perfect alignment with the essence of the soul we have that discipline that drive that structure that focus and it helps us to build the great character okay so don't never be afraid of trying something new when you're not you're going to be open to it but far as your lows don't never be afraid to be able to balance them out to create beautiful things and just have the overstanding of the lows and make sure that you tap into your energy of being calm collective being in the center space sometimes and just relaxing because you once we are overwhelmed and we are restless you know it slows our energy down okay and it takes away a lot of a lot of things from us okay so we have to be rejuvenated recharged energized so the mind the body the spirit the soul as a whole can operate correctly okay so we want to make sure that we are not overworking ourselves and overdoing it but take some time out and tap into that energy of self-love you know and i've been out today very observant for the last couple days and as i've been viewing the energy of the collective consciousness they holding the energy of the rainbow and it's so beautiful i saw a horse yesterday it was white purification clarity clearance high priest energy and it had the rainbow colors on it the rainbow colors is symbolic to us uniting us being together as a whole no matter the nationality no matter the mindset but us being together as a whole and having the overstanding of universal love the pentagram and this color is beautiful and it's been going throughout humanity <laughs> and i'm like oh i love it you know and white is the primary color of the rainbow so when we think of that rainbow it's like having the overstanding of the collective consciousness having the overstanding of the different perceptions the different colors the different energy and just harnessing the beautiful art of them all <laughs> it's just beautiful you know what i'm just sitting everywhere and it's high vibrating it's loving to see that energy throughout the universe it's like what's more beautiful than that even in the store a lady had beautiful pink hair blue hair beautiful nails it's like ugh. it's that uh, color where they change different colors like a rainbow <laughs> I can't think of that color right now it's gonna come to me but her nails was actually changing colors you know so it's reminding us to look at the beauty of the artwork and we all see different perceptions in energy in images we view our level of consciousness but it's all good because we're all love we are whole and we are all interconnected Bob Marley. <laughs> so, 
If you hold the energy of a coronal sign, you are a beautiful being. Also, we think of the energy of the priests being called the coronals. We think of the flower coronals. And we also think of the energy of the compass navigation system as well. So we have different interpretations of the coronal energy and it just reminds us to look at things with a bird's eye view be able to take in things that's essential for the growth because you're connected with being essential and also central <laughs> as well you know so i just want to come on and share some light about each coronal sign and if you hold the energy what your characteristics lean towards the most okay and it's okay to have a different element but aries cancer libra and capricorn is going to always have that new beginnings that aries that rush that drive and just being able to start things off because they are the beginners they're the beginning of seasons well I love you all. 1111 was just on the clock. Sending you all positive energy, high vibes, success on your entrepreneurship. All love, all positivity. I love you all, and I'll be back with more. Peace and love.